Look what came in the mail. So if you guys have been following the project, you can probably guess what this is. You know, it's approximately, you know, some size of something that we need. So, uh, let's open it up and let's see what's inside. So you can see now we have a 36 volt power supply that is working. Just confirmed on it with my voltmeter that uh, we're putting out 36 volts. So now that we have this and we don't need this dead one anymore, uh, we can start wiring up uh, drivers and other boards and motors. And uh, yeah, so let's, let's get some work done. So before I get started with more wiring or showing you guys the wiring, I want to go over a general overview of what the system is going to look like as far as the controller. Uh, to start off with, we're going to have you know power coming in from the wall. It's going to go through an e-stop and then a momentary switch. Um, this will actually be kind of this is like one unit right here, uh, the contactor. This will then yeah, you know, it's like a giant relay, if you don't know. And then this will supply power to the 5 volt and the 36 volt power supplies. Uh, from the 36 volt power supply, this will be used to power the drivers, which will in turn drive the motors. And then going back to the 5 volt power supply, this will supply power to the smooth stepper board then the breakout board will be attached to that and then five volts will also be supplied to the speed controller as well as the the pulse board which measures the rpms of the lathe my goal today is to get this stuff together and then this stuff together and be able to turn motors tonight uh, after we do that next time we'll worry about this signal link between this. This is actually the board um, from the lathe. Uh, we'll take these, as we said before, the forward and reverse, the on and off, and this pot, and we'll use this board to control that. Uh, depending on what this reads as far as output voltage, we will adjust the pot on here. You can see it right there. Uh, we'll adjust that to match whatever we need here and then hopefully be able to plug and play. I'm sure we'll have to adjust some settings in Mach 3 for the relays. And then this guy is more, more or less a plug and play to the breakout board. Uh, just measuring the RPMs, that way we can signal some RPM, measure it, and then just have that feedback back and forth. So with that, uh, Let's get some wiring done.
So as you guys can see, the uh, these four pin connectors, I think they're called uh, aircraft connectors. They can be a little tricky sometimes, try and get that little tiny screw in and try and get everything aligned with the soldered wires. Um, basically, I just wanna show you guys how to set up one cable and uh, I won't torture you with watching me do the second cable. So uh, now we'll skip ahead and uh, we'll show you some more wiring. Yay, I finished. So I got the second cable done. You can see I got both male connections on each cable. Then we got the, this is gonna be on the controller side. So we're gonna have one, one of these for this side of the cable. And then this side will of course plug into the steppers. So since we got that done, we are now ready to move on to these guys. So let's go ahead and we'll get these wired up. We'll get the 36 volt power supply and the five volt power supply hooked up. Oh, and then we'll get this guy installed as well on the smooth supper board. Uh, for right now, I'm going to skip it, skip the, the e-stop and the contactor. I'm probably gonna just connect these two together um, through a little, you know, quick wiring together to the wall. Um, just to try and get the motors going and because right now I'm also trying to figure out what size box I need so I, Once I figure that out then we'll be able to put everything in in nice neat orderly fashion But for right now just for demonstration and to just see this dang motors move uh, I'm gonna wire them up and we're gonna set them up in Mach, Mach 3 and then uh, Maybe even play some music. I don't know Let's figure that out. So I don't know why it abruptly stops, but needless to say, you can tell that we got all the boards. We got the smooth stepper board. We got the breakout board. The drivers are all wired up correctly. 
And then right now, just the 36 volt power supply and the five volt power supply are, are both hooked on into the, the power from the wall. And it took a little bit, but I was able to work through Mach 3 turn to get everything set up as far as the ports and pins. Um, being my previous machine, being a mill, is a little bit different set up and trying to get used to that but it's all set up now and like I said before our next step is to get the uh, VFD board with the other boards that connect up to the breakout board getting those all wired up so we can control everything with the smooth stepper board through Mach 3 and uh, hopefully I'll come out soon and uh, I'll see you guys next time.